How's it going everyone? Brutal Sam here. This is a short video about the new PS5 news that happened today. So today developer Flatzy announced that he has hacked the PlayStation 5's secure processor, also known as PSP. This is absolutely huge news considering how important and crucial is the secure processor to the PS5. What you see here is basically code of the dumped PS5 boot ROM. Flatzy dumped this on the PS5 firmware 2.50, so uh, this was not tested on uh, newer firmwares and uh, is still not public yet. Uh, the dev said he won't release the actual dump or bug to the public, but he will release implementations for fake packages, uh, which is what the end user needs and wants and can actually uh, use uh, if a method is released and you can use that uh, for fake packages and stuff then there is uh, absolutely no need for you to worry about the actual bug or dump being released to the public hacking the psp is huge news because the psp is at the top of the chain of trust like spectre refers to it meaning by gaining access to it there won't be a need to uh, exploit the hypervisor to have a full ps5 jailbreak but the hypervisor uh, does not seem like an issue to Flatzy because he also has a hypervisor exploit which he said he achieves by using a corrupted PS4 save file uh, on the PS5 kind of like the Masti Core exploit uh, on the PS4 where we use a PS2 save file of the game Okagi to uh, exploit the PS4 well even though it's that's still a user land exploit but uh, there is still a similarity here, uh, so he uses a PS4 game save file on the PS5 to exploit the hypervisor and therefore he has a full PS5 jailbreak on the PS5 uh, firmware 2.50. So, what are the PS5 firmware versions affected by Flatz secure processor bug or hack or however you want to call it? Uh, well, uh, he says this could be about hardware revisions instead of firmware revisions because Sony has to release a new console revision to change keys and patch this bug since it's hardware related and not software related. But he says he does not know if Sony actually patched this or not. So uh, this uh, new possible jailbreak may not rely on the PS5 firmware version but it will rely on the uh, hardware revision of the console. So that is very important to know. Now for the uh, question of uh, fake packages on the PS5, uh, Flatzy says at some point there will be fake packages on the PS5 and he also says that Slersgovi is working on his own method to uh, have fake packages on the PS5 without a hypervisor uh, exploit. So we have Flatzy uh, working on his own uh, method, we have Slersgovi uh, working on his own method. And uh, a few days ago, uh, there was another bug uh, that affects the PS5 and uh, particularly affects the PS5's uh, CPU. Uh, this bug is called uh, Zenbleed uh, and it was uh, disclosed by uh, Google researchers. Uh, it's a CVE 2023-20593 and it works on all Zen 2 CPUs, uh, including the PS5. We still need uh, someone to test this to make sure it works on the uh, PS5. So uh, that's kind of all uh, the news. Uh, and uh, yeah, one more thing. A few days ago, uh, Zico uh, teased Homebrew on the PS5. Uh, not sure is, if he's talking about the uh, the method of Slayer's Govi or the uh, uh, this new. Uh, hack uh, from Flatzy. So uh, yeah, I think that this is uh, this is a wrap. This is kind of uh, uh, all the news. Uh, try to make the things as simple as possible. Uh, if you like this content, if you want more news like this, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so you don't miss anything. That's it. Take care. Now we'll see you soon. Should anything else comes up, see you.